My name is Jerry Overmeyer. I work at the Mathematics and Science Teaching Institute, the MAST Institute here at UNC, as the Mathematics and Science Outreach Coordinator. The workshop I did this summer was to help mathematics teachers implement technology into their classroom. And then I'm going to say a few things and we'll dive into you doing My name is Carl Remsen and I teach at Lake County High School here in Leadville, Colorado. I teach high school math and the seminar that I attended in uh, July with Dr. Overmeyer was really helpful to connect with other teachers who had tried or were thinking of trying flipping the classroom um, and bounce ideas off like how are you going to do this and what do you do with those kids who don't have access. Educational theorists have realized that just lecturing to students probably isn't the best way to learn. But with the advent of things like YouTube, teachers can post instruction online. So if they want to do projects or do group work or inquiry-based learning, they now have the time in class to do that. I think one of the biggest obstacles with flipped classrooms is that it's just so new. And for teachers to realize that students can find information on their own, and teachers need to become guides and supporters and coaches. So take a look, take a look where it's going through there, right? When you stand up in front of a class and just talk about math, the kids aren't doing math. And often I can see the student in the back and I can say, I know that student is not paying attention to me right now. So what can I do differently? And I haven't totally flipped everything, but I've tried to pull some of the me talking part out to videos on the web so that as much as is possible, the time in class can be spent doing math. I think I'm much more effective one-on-two, one-on-one, one-on-four than I am one-on-25. And so the more I can create scenarios where I can teach in that manner, I think the more successful I am. Carl was teaching some pretty advanced algebra stuff. And instead of just telling his students in class, you know, here's the properties of exponential equations and now apply it, he really did it in a reverse way where he had a project where the only way to solve it was with exponential equations. So his students first saw, okay, we have a math problem. We need a new way to solve this. Oh, this is that thing he was talked about briefly in that video. Now we can apply it. I'm Ellie. I am a junior at Lake County High School in Leadville, Colorado, and I am taking Mr. Remsen's Algebra 2 class. I do like the flipped classroom. It, it's definitely different from our other classrooms because we're not just doing the typical go in, sit down, teacher tells you what to do, you do something. It's very different because we're doing all sorts of new activities like watching videos. And if you don't understand something the teacher said, then you can go home and watch the video. They can uh, you know, focus on what they need to focus on. That's part of being a high school student is learning how to learn and hopefully I'm helping them do that. This program has kind of changed the way I look at my other classes in that sometimes I decide that I'm going to try a different resource for information than just like looking at the textbook or talking to the teacher. I'm involved with the math TLC program, um, you know, earning my graduate degree in math and with an emphasis in teaching. Working with UNC has been great to connect to other teachers around the state, to think about the, the deep understanding of mathematics. And that's part of why I want to flip the classroom is I don't want students to just do procedures. I want us to have the time in class to really think deeply and explore these concepts. So hopefully my students walk away really understanding a topic.